Hello, everyone, and welcome to the RevitKid.com. First, I want to wish everyone a happy new year. This is the first new tutorial that I'm recording in the year 2017. So, again, happy new year to everyone. I hope all of your holidays were great, and I'm looking forward to uh, 2017. So, this is a really quick tip. Um, what I want you to notice is on the right hand side, I have a floor plan view with the shadows on. And the shadows look cool, right? But if you really wanted to study the shadows and how they affect your space, let's say you want to do a shadow study or even an animation showing winter solstice, summer solstice, or the whole day, you'll notice that you're missing a few things. Um, typically, the shadows in a floor plan are going to show up to the point where you're cutting. So if this is cutting at four feet, you're going to see only up to the four, fit, four, four foot mark. So therefore, you can't really get a feel for how long uh, this window, how deep the sun's going to reach into the space, etc. Uh, the same goes for if you set up a default 3D view. If I was to create a 3D view and cut a section box, um, I wouldn't really get a true shadow representation. Whereas on the right, on the left-hand side, you can see, if I zoom in, we've got the mullions showing, and we've actually got the head of our window. We're showing our entire space. So just by looking at this, we can start to study and see and even run animations to show the, how the shadows affect your space. And now you can see it's, 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 uh, it's bleeding in there. So I'm going to show you quickly how you can do that. So I'm going to go to my floor plan view. So this is just a, this is the default floor plan view. Nothing nothing crazy going on here. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to a section. So if you don't have a section in your project, so just create a section. But I'm going to go into a section that's already created. And if I want to do my first floor plan, I'm going to zoom into that. I'm going to go up to view. I'm going to say 3D view, and I'm going to create a camera. Now before I click the camera down, there's a little checkbox that's hidden. If you see my mouse on the top left hand corner, there's a little checkbox that says perspective. If you uncheck perspective, it's going to make a orthogonal view and you could actually default uh, a scale if you want, but for now I'm just going to do 150. I'm using the Revit sample file for those of you who don't know. Now you want to figure where, where you want to actually have your, your eye, eye level. So this doesn't make as big of a difference because of the fact that your um, you're still going to be getting the full of the full shadow effect, but I usually try and keep it somewhere around um, uh, the head of a door so that you can see doors in this view. And so I'm just going to click my camera if you can see it in the middle of the screen. And notice by default, if I pulled out, you're looking in the left or the right. But if you just pull the camera down and you try and make that a nice straight line, so I'm going to try and make it a nice straight line, and I'm just going to click. You can see it actually makes a floor plan view. And now that floor plan view is going to require a little bit of messing around to make it look right. So I'm just going to pull in my extents. And then you might want to hide the site because for some reason the site does some funny things when you do this. Unless you really want the site. But for right now I'm just going to hide the site. And you can see if I zoom in I've actually got a floor plan view. So now I can do things like set the scale. And I can start going into my graphic scale options. My graphic options. So I'm going to turn on anti-aliasing. Let's turn on some shadows. And then let's uh, let's turn on some uh, some the actual light. So let's do a single day, or we're going to do a still for now. I'm going to click Winter Solstice and click OK. Then I'm just going to lighten up the shadows a little bit so it's not too dark. And I'm going to click Apply. And you'll see right there, that's it. That's how easy it is. So now what you can do with this is you can do lots of different things. I can start studying the shadow. So that's my that's my um, my sunlight. If I go down to Lighting, I can go to Winter Solstice. I can change this to Summer Solstice at 7 a.m. let's say which is pretty early you could see what's happening there if I make it a little later on in the morning it's 10 a.m. you can see the sun starting to squeeze through but now you notice how you're actually seeing the head of this window so that's the key here you're not actually it's Revit's not cutting through the building so you're not getting shadows with a four foot cut through the building and then what I can also do is I can set up quickly set up some summer um, some sun studies so if I go under single day I can say, let's do a summer solstice solar study. I'm going to do sunrise to sunset. Uh, I'm just in Boston, Massachusetts in, ju in June. Um, I'm going to do a time interval of every 30 minutes and click Apply and click OK and click OK. Now you notice what happened. It just does this weird thing, right, because it's actually going to sun sunrise. But for those of you who don't know how to make a solar study, it's pretty simple. If you click the Revit button, you go to Export, Images and Animations, and then Solar Study. And if your view has already been set to that lighting setting, you can start to export this. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say all frames, and I'm going to keep it exactly how it is here. And maybe I'll do a time and date stamp. Why not? And then I'm going to click OK. Now it's going to ask me to export it somewhere. I'm going to go to my desktop. Options are OK. 
Uh, you can default to a couple different things. If you do AVI, that's the flat export. Click save. It's going to ask you a couple things with compressing, so you can change your video uh, format if you'd like. I'm going to keep it full frames. And I'm going to click OK. So now my computer is actually exporting. Every 30 minutes, it's exporting the sun settings. And so you can see it roll, roll through pretty good. And what's neat about this is you can see the sun, this is the actual sun setting. So we're not getting that three foot, four foot, five foot, whatever cut through our floor plan based on a section box or based on an actual floor plan view. We're getting the real true sun settings. So this is a really good way to sort of study your design and see how it rolls. So now let me just pull up my desktop and I'm actually going to run that video so you can see. It's going to be quick. There it is there. So it's a two second video. So let's... Uh, Put on a replay here. There we go. You can see that there. So now you can actually run these solar solar uh, studies really quickly, really and really fast. And you can see all it takes is a simple 